Welcome back to Spider-Man Part 17. Oh, uh, and I and I did not I did not do like what I probably should be doing uh, each time we start these recording sessions and remember where we left off. <laughs> 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 I, I always I always just like yeah, welcome back to the next part. Um, I don't remember anything. <laughs> uh, we are uh somewhere in the story. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude, we are in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Now that I think this is a new setting. <laughs> <laughs> I never could have guessed. <laughs> never, never, never would have even thunk. A majority of all of Marvel's superheroes come from New York, but it's always funny when, um, like, something big, cataclysmic always happens in the city. And since, you know, they've established they're, they're, they're like 20 of the same heroes that live in New York, only one of them shows up to the thing because, oh yeah, I forgot, it's not our, it's not our movie, it's not our comic book. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's interesting, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, think about it. Um, because in this game, we've contextually seen that of the Avengers and Doctor Strange are a thing in this universe. Uh, yeah. But uh, they're not here because this is the Spider-Man <laughs> game. Yeah, this is the Spider-Man video game, so they're not important. <laughs> exactly, yeah. They could be helping out with us right now, but it's not. <laughs> they're not the main characters. So they can't be here. <laughs> so, someone make a mod about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, oh, yeah, you could replace the boring-ass uh, MJ sections with more interesting Doctor Strange sections. Please. <laughs> that would be kind of sick, actually. <laughs> For the love of God, please. Oh... <laughs> <laughs> uh... As he gets fucking punched. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking shot 12 times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just yawn. Oh, where'd my health bar go? Yeah. <laughs> uh, does the does thing happen where, like, um, his dialogue gets cut off if you take damage? No, I don't think so. Oh. Okay. Some games do that, and it's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, maybe it happens, and I just never notice because I usually don't get hit very often. <laughs> but I, as far as I like, I remember, I don't think his dialogue gets cut off if he gets damaged. Oh, okay. Cause, that uh, would have been a cool touch, though. <laughs> yeah, because uh, the Resident Evil remakes uh, do that. In fact, um, oh really? Yeah, there's a sequence in the Resident Evil Three remake, uh, which is uh, quite funny, actually. Um, because the line that Jill says is one of her famous quotes from the original game. And so when she says it in the remake, she's running away from Nemesis. But it is possible to get hit by Nemesis in it. So it, it, it sounds like, you want stars? I'll give you... Fuck! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> it's quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of want to see that. It sounds really funny. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I I know in um uh, in this game sometimes because like you might be you might have like an optional, um you like like call about something or whatever like with the pigeons or something or there might be something kind of going on like that like Spider Man's listening to or whatever but then like more important dialogue will happen so like it will cut that off or something or like like something else will happen like you might be doing a story mission you'll go into like a, a like a crime side mission or something because like that's the focus for the moment it cuts off whatever like was going on in the story but once you finish that then P uh, peter picks up the call again he's like okay where were we and then it like continues oh. with the story again <laughs> okay that's funny actually yeah <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Give me one moment. I gotta do yeah, side yeah, quests yeah, here. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he just kind of, yeah, he just kind of like temporarily like hangs up to like do whatever is like whatever you're working on at the moment, and then you like call back, and then you like it picks up with the story again. Uh, I, I will. <sighs> I feel like I've seen that before, maybe in GTA 5, I could be misremembering, but it sounds like something that would happen in GTA 5. Cause I think that happens in GTA 5. Yeah. I, don't know. yeah. <laughs> I, I never got very far in that game. Oh, really? Oh. No. <laughs> well, you should. It's a, it's a good, it's a good game. It's a good story. Not that ending, though. We don't talk about that, then, that ending. Uh, <laughs> 
The end that <laughs> it's so it's disappointing. The ending of GTA 5's campaign is so bad. <laughs> it really is. It's like it's like the piece of shit right at the end of like a like a ice cream sundae. Like the ice cream sundae or like a banana split. That's not chocolate there. That's that's not chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Hello. Oh, it's Carlos. Did you just get back from work. Yeah. That's oh. what I thought. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Today is definitely Sunday, guys. <laughs> yeah. Totally. 100%. Totally. One hundred percent. I mean, honestly, Carlos, I thought, I thought you weren't gonna. Oh, I forgot. What? <laughs> what? Did he just clip <laughs> yeah, through yeah, the closed kinda door? This cutscene kind of glitched out a little bit. This is actually really funny. <laughs> oh, I love that it glitched out on the PS5. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it didn't fuck up on the PC that I was playing on. It fucked up on the PS5. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but the, the yeah the cutscene like with the car like and stuff kind of kind of glitched out a little bit, so it's like, <laughs> oh, they they forgot to open the door for you, sir. Now you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot this happened. Now that's hilarious. Oh man, I, yeah, to man. <laughs> they're so clipping. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, I, I don't know what happened. Yeah. I think it got kind of confused between Bro. like the cutscene assets and the in-game assets. Oh, <laughs> do you think like the parked cars spawned in the middle of the cutscene? Maybe. Or like or like or like they were there previously loaded and then the you know because of where you are in the story, like that maybe? Maybe. Hey, I'm not really 100% I don't, sure, but it's yeah, really funny. I don't know how that I don't know how that explained the closed door. <laughs> yeah, 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 he kind of just he kind of just faced through the car door. <laughs> yeah, he kind of did. What happened? <laughs> oh man, whoever whoever's warping reality right now, that's the true villain of this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh a a anyway, uh, <laughs> as I was saying, I, di I didn't think you were actually gonna show up, Carlos, because you were done with your with your showing off your parts. <laughs> I do. I, I was seriously contemplating, like, do I want to join today? Do I not? Because I'm like, I already had work. I'm tired. But I'm like, what else I'm gonna do today? Not much. So well, that's on you I for having responsibilities. <laughs> 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 but uh yes we're very appreciative to have you here it was just gonna be all alone all alone together. <laughs> where'd everybody go <laughs> well, you're, you're aren't alone you have each other oh well isn't that sweet yeah i'm not get <laughs> <laughs> Just because I want to kiss my homies sometimes doesn't yeah, mean I'm gay. Doesn't, yeah, doesn't mean I'm gay. Yeah, no. I have relationships with women and sex with men. And don't make me gay. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Did you see that car on the right side? No, what? What happened? It was just, it was like vertical, just shaking violently. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even notice that until a moment ago. That's funny. I, I guess this whole, I guess this whole sequence is kind of bugged out a little bit. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> the wonders of the PlayStation 5. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 10 out of 10 game. <laughs> 10 out of, yeah. <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> yeah, there's still a lot of like parked cars that I feel like should be getting affected by physics, but they're just not. <laughs> That's so weird, huh? I've never I had that happen before. <laughs> Most glitches, you can't really explain what is. You can't really explain what happened. Don't yeah. Like go into the fucking source code. Yeah, that's true. Especially like some really big anomalies like this one. 
Yeah, how people end up finding glitches for like speed running shit or whatever, I will never know. Right. <laughs> that is actual magic. <laughs> now, my guess is that there's like a subset of those people just hitting themselves against walls at all times. <laughs> just doing the weirdest random fucking bullshit combinations <laughs> just to just skip like to just skip chunks of the game yeah, right or or sometimes I, I i feel like they're either doing that or just looking through like a bunch of youtube videos or streams at this point seeing if anybody does some stupid shit sure but that makes you think like how did people in the past do this stuff you know before internet was so widespread as it is now well okay that is kind of a good point because because biggest... back then it like it, like it would have been a bit more difficult to like to tell people about like stuff you found. <laughs> okay, the biggest speedrun game, which is Doom, has like has its own like type of clip thing, like where you can share your runs of levels, and that had like your your inputs already in the thing in the video as well. Like it had it to like the exact specifications when you put it so. So that's probably how Doom did it, but I don't know about the other games. Hmm. Because I, I think of all the Mario 64 runs, and I'm like... <laughs> I mean, I know it's not a uh, well-coded uh, uh, game, but... <laughs> I'm not usually one to uh, take all those glitchy skips and all that, because I don't know how to perform any of those off. But like, man, I don't know, I don't know how these people even do this. Yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like the freaking, like, like, like that cannon or whatever, and like the the wasps one. It's like, it's like, how do you know, like, to go to a specific part on like the the bridge and to like ledge grab a couple times to line yourself up so that you can like, you can like turn yourself around. In, in like in a U shape, and then just like just clip in just the right position to grab the star without breaking the wall with the camera. Right, first. and like um, uh, the uh, the uh, infinite stair uh, thing, where you know if you uh, finally get access to that room, but you don't have seventy power stars. Oh yeah. To get to the final level, um, the stairs will just keep going up and up and up. Like they're endless, but like mm -hmm. some people have done the in, like the <laughs> what the the infinite backwards long jump. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do like, yeah, like the backwards long jump to just <laughs> to just fly up the just, stairs. Just yeah, fly up the can, infinite can, stairs. Yeah, because they because they, they, the, the stairs you're not like actually going up. It keeps teleporting you back down over and over again, right, or whatever. Yeah. At like a certain point on the stairs, but because you're going so fast with the backwards long jump, you like skip past that like trigger to teleport you uh, so you just okay. bypass it that makes sense yeah Let's see that one looks like the easiest one to pull off in all honesty <laughs> probably but like it appears the easiest to pull off I, I, I mean i mean well the the the, the only really kind of difficult thing about doing the backwards long jump like correctly is just mashing fast enough <laughs> oh yeah that's Josh, my thing. you have that Oh well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, yeah, I could probably, I could probably, I could probably open up fucking Mario sixty four and, ju and just like do a do a yeah, speed fucking, run somewhat fucking, casually because I I mash like a god. Yeah, do do a zero power star speed run right now. <laughs> yes, yeah, the zero power star. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. I would have to do it in like a ROM though because you can't do the backwards long jump on the Mario. Like all stars. Oh, thing, can you not? Oh, I didn't no, know that. No, no because the, no, because Mario sixty four and that one is based off like the Japanese version, which is a slightly like newer version that uh, patched the long jump. Oh, well, like, the backwards long jump. Yeah, I did not Why? know that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone How did they have died. to patch it? It was such a good glitch. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think it did like like a like a few other like little things, but the main thing that it's that I I at least I usually hear about is that it's the version that patched the backwards long jump so you can't do it in the japanese version so nobody uh, likes it <laughs> well that maybe that's why i only had a limited release <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, 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 you can technically still like like clip through stuff like going really fast with it in that version because they're because what they basically did was because the backwards long jump exploits uh like go uh, like sp like negative speed essentially because like you have a speed cap going forward but there's no speed cap going backwards with like a negative speed, and that's how the backwards long jump works. 
Um, but there's you're able to do a similar kind of thing if you're able to like wall jump over and over again because there's also no limit on your airspeed. So if you wall jump in like really specific locations, like fucking frame perfectly or whatever, you can get a shitload of speed and just and just fly through the castle like that. <laughs> Right, and the, the the frame perfect stuff too. I will never understand how people can even do that. <laughs> yeah, I'll remember this. <clears throat> oh, I was kind of waiting for the part to end right there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, honestly, I kind of almost thought it was going to end right there too. <laughs> yeah, but no. It, it, here it's still it's still oh, going dude. how's it been actually having somebody with skills playing the game oh that's because remember, uh, I, I didn't I, yeah, yeah i didn't use any of the skill points I mean, oh yeah because you, you didn't have any upgrades whereas like when it started with my playthrough i already had like a bunch of upgrades <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah um it's been a uh, it's been an enjoyable like uh, I officially up the difficulty for myself. Like Josh hasn't died to any QTEs, so that's good. Exactly. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Michaels, how are you calling? Borrowed one of Sable's radios. Listen, transit hubs are the most likely release points for Devil's Breath. Airports, bus terminals, train stations. It'll spread like wildfire from there. Why the hell is Oscorp developing a bioweapon in the city? I thought they were good guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we yeah we found out about that. Um, yeah, like the true nature of what the devil's breath is supposed to be. Mm. In one of the other episodes. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a fucking cure. <laughs> it, it, it's yeah, it's supposed to, it's supposed to be able to like cure all diseases or something. But in its current state, it's more like a bioweapon. <laughs> ah, isn't Which that? Which the question to pay for? Uh, what's it called? For venom. Is Venom just like you know, yeah? It's the, you know, yeah, it, the, it, it, like the final version of Devil's Breath. It, 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 it kind oh. of we we, we it, I I think it technically kind of gets uh, like spoiled and like the, like one of like the like after credits things or something. But <laughs> you know, yeah, there, there's a um, the yeah they they're developing Devil's Breath to try to like help uh, Harry. like Harry or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's because Harry's sick. Yeah. yeah, you no, you find out Harry's sick, uh, way before. Oh. But what's he sick uh, with? Oh, else is killing him. I I don't think they really. I don't think they actually say he's sick. I think they just. I think they think that he like went off on, like vacation or something. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But they they don't say it, but they allude to it very much. Especially like if you if you uh, what's it called? No, the the end, like I did, like the post, uh, the post credit scene. You're like, you can tell how much they're like nodding to it as you, <laughs> as you play through the game. Yeah. But then, doesn't Harry have like the um, like the the far cloud side mission things? Yes. Yeah, they, yeah some the of the missions. You, they, 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 yeah, yeah, some of yeah. There's some of those like um like. Side quests, like at the scientist stations, whatever. Those are like pre-recorded, uh, like things. Oh, they're pre-recorded. Oh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think they're like messages that Harry left for, like, if, yeah, like if Peter finds those or whatever and needs to, needs to fix whatever's wrong with them. <laughs> okay, so it's not a phone. Go okay, I get. <laughs> Harry's just gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he is He's not gone. really in this game. <laughs> Man, he really did get amnesia. <laughs> <laughs>